Imagine being able to create your own Google Chrome extensions that you can use as digital products, whether to give for free or charge for them. And up until now, that was just something that developers could do. But now with AI, we can actually create any type of Chrome extension and either give it for free or sell it. And AI will do the heavy lifting for us by coding everything. So uh, let me show you how easy it is to create a simple Chrome extension that highlights text on any web page and then stores it in the storage API. So if you're doing a research, for, for example, if you're doing research and you need to grab copy from different web pages, you can actually highlight the whole copy on the web page and rather than copy and pasting every single um, every single uh, passage or every single sentence, you just highlight them. Then when you open your extension, they will be there and you can just copy and paste the whole lot into your Google Doc or uh, Word Doc. So let me show you uh, how we can use AI to do all that for us. Now, uh, I believe that the two AIs that will create the best code for you are Claude and the latest version of ChatGPT. If you wanna try another AI, you can, but um, as I said, I have tested a few of them and I find that Claude and ChatGPT do the best job. So today I'm going to use Claude and all I'm going to say is, um, I'm going to copy and paste my prompt, is please develop a Google Chrome extension that allows users to highlight text on any web page. The highlights would remain even after the page is reloaded by saving the highlights locally using Chrome's storage API. I'd like my extension to have an icon. Now, you don't have to have an icon if you don't want to. I just like to be able to recognize my extension when it's on the uh, Chrome bar. And I'm also saying I can only create 48 by 48 and 128 by 128 icons. The reason I'm saying this is because usually when you want your Google Chrome extension to have images, uh, the code requires you to have three different sizes, these two and a smaller one, which is 16 by 16. And I create my icons in Canva and Canva will not allow me to create an image that is that small. So instead of having uh, uh, having to change the code afterwards, I know and uh, I know that it will ask me for these three sizes. So I'm saying these are the only two sizes I can create. And then I'm saying provide all files separately because I uh, we actually need every single file to be uh, its separate file in the folder uh, in order to work uh, as a Chrome extension. So basically this is my whole prompt and I will let Claude develop everything for me. While we're waiting for Claude to write the code, we're going to come back to our desktop and create the folder we need to, ho to house all the files. I called mine text highlighter. I also created two icon files, so two image files. One is 48 by 48 pixels and the, the other one is 128 by 128 pixels. And I'm going to move them into this folder because as I said, we need to have all the files in the same folder. So uh, I believe that Claude is done now. Yep, it is done. So basically what we need to do is we need to copy and paste each one of those files into our folder. So basically I'm going to copy the contents, I'm going to open a new text document and I'm going to paste all the uh, this code. I'm going to click on format and make it plain text. Then I'm going to copy and paste the exact uh, file name uh, sorry, and I am going to save it. I will make sure that I'm saving it in the right folder. And I'm going to click save. Now you will see every now and then uh, a pop-up will show that says uh, that usually these files are saved as text, but uh, it looks like I've given it a JSON um, extension. So I want to have the JSON extension and I will click use 
json all right and i'm going to do this with every single file so basically i'll click on every file once the code shows i'm going to click copy i'm going to open my text editor and i'm going to make it into a plain text then i'm going to get the exact file name and save it as that file name and yes, it might be a little bit daunting, but um, uh, it beats writing code. So uh, there's only like five or six files for most extensions. And uh, yeah, it takes like less than a couple of minutes to actually copy and paste the contents into your folder. So just bear with me a second and I will save them quickly. Content that we've got the styles. I'm going to copy that. As you can see, some of those files have very little code, but they need to be in their own file in order for your extension to work. Okay, again, I'm getting a pop-up saying, hey, your extension is CSS, but we usually save them as text. So I'll say use CSX. Uh, and we've got only two more, the pop-up HTML. Usually for HTML, it also pops up uh, to say that we are, highlight that we are um, choosing an extension that is different from the one it's thinking we should have. And again, we will select that it's okay. Okay, I'm going to save it. As you can see, I'm going to choose use HTML and our last file is the pop-up JSON. For some reason, when you're uh, copying and pasting a JSON file, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't uh, have that pop-up show. Um, all right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save it. And it looks like we are good to go. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I have all the files and I haven't missed one. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six files and two icons. And if I go into Claude, I have one, two, three, four, five, six files. Now I've got all the files ready to go. And by the way, if you want all these files, so you don't have to ask AI to write the code for you. If you want all the files in one, uh, in one place to just copy and take into your uh, Chrome extension store, make sure that you join my school community because all these resources are in there. So basically, what happens next is uh, we need to go to Chrome and extensions, and it actually tells you exactly what to do. Open Chrome uh, and go to this uh, link, enable developers mode, click load unpacked, and then it says your extension should be showing now. So if we go to Chrome and we follow these uh, instructions, we make sure that our developer mode is on, and then all we need to do is click load unpacked and select the correct folder. So if I select it, as you can see straight away, I can see my text highlighter, text highlighter 1.0, highlight text on any web page and save it locally. Uh, I can look at my details or I can remove it if I decide to remove it or if it has a lot of errors sometimes. Um, especially if you're creating something more complicated, it might have a lot of errors and you won't be able to update it uh, and you'll have to remove it and start all over again. Now, if you're making small changes and you want to update your extension, all you need to do is click on this little reload button and it will push all the updates into your extension. Okay, so now that we have our extension, we need to pin it to the bar uh, so we can actually see the things that we are highlighting. And here's my text highlighter here. 
I will pin it and I can see it in my bar right here. So if I go to Google and I can type something like anything, um, AI for business. Let's try this. And um, I don't know, uh, let's try this one. So basically all I need to do is find text that I want to highlight and basically highlight it. Here we go. We got this highlighted. Then I can come down. Let's have a look. Here we go. This is our first passage. Then maybe I just want one sentence here. Oh, well, I did more than one sentence, but um, you get me. So uh, here's our next one. And uh, what else? And maybe we just need the name of the person. And this is coming out as well. So let's see something that I want to try because I've never tried this extension before. I want to see if uh, it will keep, yeah, it's still keeping. So what if we go to a different website and start highlighting here? Let's see. Um, I just want to see if I still, yep, I still have my highlighted text from there. And if I highlight this one, okay. So basically I can definitely go to several pages, highlight whatever I want and everything will be kept in here. So once I'm done, uh, because yeah, we can go to yet another site. Um, there's a university website and maybe we'd like to have that. And here we go, the micro skill. So we are basically able with this little highlight to go through quite a few websites, highlight whatever we want. And this is so good, guys, if you are actually doing research or if you are trying to create some copy and you need to model after different websites. So instead of having a million tabs open, you can have this little highlighter and basically highlight everything you want and then copy and paste it into your Google Doc. And as I said, all these uh, all these resources, like all the files are available in my community. If you wanna get them, click the link below, join my community. It's super cool, super active, and you can get them for free, or you can just follow this tutorial and create your own.